Hello. In this video, I'm going to be talking about good luck. Now, I'm not talking about the thing that you'll need to get a weakness exploit to Talisman. I'm talking about the skill, good luck. This skill is similar to how it worked in World, where you can get bonus rewards for completing hunts that you didn't join midway through. Uh, however, unlike World, it now has three levels that you can reach, with the medium's garb, of course. The third level of which has the greatly increased luck chance, which supposedly uh, increases your chances of getting better rewards. The description itself does say that you have a good chance of increased quest rewards. I would say with my limited testing at level 3, uh, it produced rewards for me about 90% of the time, anywhere from 1 extra reward to 5 extra rewards. Uh, I'd assume that with lower levels you'd have either a lower chance of getting rewards or you'd get less rewards in total. All of my testing was in high rank, so if you're using this in low rank, your results might vary a little bit, but they should be pretty similar. In my first hunt, I did the A Quartet of Horns, which has you fight two Diablos. My clear time for the first time of the session was a 14-18, which was a pretty decent amount of time. That's about seven minutes per Diablos. Uh, I captured both of them. For this one, it procced three times. For my second hunt on the same quest, I got a 12 minute and 38 second time uh, with two captures and three rewards as well. So the same as the first, except a little bit faster. Now on my third hunt, it was the same quest. I managed to get 1148. This was my fastest attempt of all of my attempts. Um, I didn't fail any of the quests. I just figured out how to see how many procs I got. Uh, but it wasn't until halfway through all the testing that I managed to discover this. Uh, I captured those two as well, and they had a uh, proc of five, so I got five bonus rewards for it. Now these rewards varied from actual monster parts to uh, monster knee bones, to um, jewels, to any sort of thing that can show up in the upper section of your quest rewards. Not anything for capture rewards or uh, pet rewards. My next hunt was on the Almadron. I got a 1025 and I captured him. It only gave me two rewards though. Next up, I was needing some parts because I wanted to make every longsword, which I have managed to do, uh, was against the Great Ravi, which had a 4 minute and 33 time. Capturing it, I got two rewards bonus. Uh, next up, we had the Double Great Baggy, because of course that's the only way you can hunt them in high rank. Uh, without hunting an entirely different monster as well. With a time of 5 minutes and 43 seconds, I captured him both times, and I managed to get 5 procs for that quest. And then I moved on to the Narwa hunts. Narwa is a hunt that I usually could get around 9 to 10 minutes uh, with a meta build. However, I had recently gotten a weakness exploit to charm, so my times were forced to improve dramatically since then, so I managed to get an 821 on my first kill with zero procs, then on my second I managed an 804 with three procs, my third was an 828 with three procs as well, and my final one was a 915 with four procs. At about that time I had finished gathering data, I pretty much found out that you will get anywhere from two to five procs. However, I assume that level one and level two have a chance to give you one proc since, I mean, three has a chance to give you just one, uh, sorry, just zero straight up. So I'd assume that you'd be able to get one as well. Now, this was fairly limited testing. However, I did hunt the double Diablos hunt 12 times before I figured out that in the end screen, there is a little section, as you can see here, that you can actually see what kind of rewards you got. <laughs> so if you're looking at your rewards and you want to see if you got a good luck drop from it, it'll say it right there, um, big and clear, it'll say good luck, which <laughs> honestly could be a taunt, couldn't mean anything. Included the times for all these hunts. So in case you wanted to know how much longer it took me than you for having slotted in good luck three because it takes quite a bit of equipment and it removes a lot of your attack boost uh, if you're going with a meta build versus a defensive build. Um, 
it, it does take a little bit longer to hunt the monsters. However, if you think that the rewards are worth your while, then you could see probably could benefit you. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it informative or helpful in any way, please leave a like, click subscribe, I'm trying to make more content and get myself out there further. Uh, I will be making a new video about Brutal Strikes. Ah, that, that's why I happen to be hunting a low rank uh, Goss Harag. Um, I am interested in knowing which weapons have Brutal Strikes that are actually worth using, since a lot of the time you will get negative crits rather than Brutal Strike crits, and that reduces your damage output drastically. So, if you want to see that, stick around. It'll be coming out soon. Thanks for watching.